And then from there, I came back to Bristol hunting out graph. And 83, the early roots of Bristol graffiti culture were starting to just sprout its seeds, mainly down to Delge or Robert Del Naja. So for people that don't know, so Robert Del Naja, uh, Del Naja with the road 3D. So Del Naja was not only a graffiti writer who wrote the name 3D, he was yeah. part of Bristol Seminole Sound System crew called The Wall Bunch. And he's also the lead Lead vocalist of Bristol band Massive Attack Massive now. Attack, yeah. But Delge is seen by many as the first writer of the city. Then others follow. So you have people like uh, Zed Boys, Nick Walker, Crime Incorporated, which was Inky, Felix, and Felix's brother, Yoss. Yeah. Then you had Fade and Jaffa. And from there, my, my love of graph culture just kind of mushroomed. I ended up going to Amsterdam, I think 12 times in the space of about three years, but was lucky enough to get introduced to Dutch writers. And one of them was arguably one of the most famous at that time. His name's Shu, Crime yeah. Time Kings, along yeah. with Bando, Motu, still paints today, Neil Shu's Yeah, Hallman. big influence on me for the spray can art. And... Massive. Yeah. So then I met him and then he introduced me to a couple of other guys. So I met, met a guy called Delta. Delta, yeah. I was waiting for his name to pop up. Like. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Uh, and then Joker, Jazz, a crew called USA, United Street Artists. Yeah, yeah. And they took me one day and they just literally took me around to spots around Amsterdam, Von der Park, Waterloopen, Leiterplein, York Jail Complex, which were their Hoffs back then, Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, yeah. And I just came back buzzing from my visits to Amsterdam. And by 1985, Bristol had quite a, a great scene developing. And two local lads from Barton Hill Youth Club, they had been to New York with their families yeah. and took a load of pictures of graphs, all the obvious halls of fames in Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, the Bronx, mm. brought back a load of mixtapes, Kiss FM, called DJ Red Alert, you name it. And they basically had started tagging. So they said, John, we've got all this wall space at Barn Hill. And we'd love to just throw some paint at walls and just trial some, some styles. And so basically I, I said to him, okay, we've got no funding. I'll pay out my own pocket. So I went to Shiners and to Autoquip and to Eurovision, which were all paint supply stores back in then. Uh, and basically just bought car plan. Yeah. Smooth right. But also... They mixed it with normal paint, wall paint. And so the first pieces started going up on Barton Hill in uh, early 85. And they then started to paint quite regularly, quite frequently. And by this time, I was traveling to London, Wolverhampton, Heathtown, where obviously Goldie is from. Yeah. London, I was going to Westbourne Park, Labrook Grove, Royal Oak all the halves, all the West Way, where obviously you had similar artists like Nonstop, Coma, Rich No Limits. You obviously had all the original Grove writers. And really that entrenched me in the culture. Yeah. I ate, breathed, sleep, graph. And so those young lads were the start of the foundations of Barn Hill Youth Club, becoming known as, as a graph Hoff. Yeah. 